Ralph Greenleaf, November 3, 1899 in Monmouth, Illinois, March 15, 1950 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was an American professional pool and carom billiards player, a 20-time world pocket billiards champion whose ability and charisma dominated the sport during his heyday. His obituary in the New York Times said of Greenleaf in March 1950, what Babe Ruth did for baseball, Dempsey did for fighting, Tilden did for tennis. Greenleaf did for pocket billiards. The championships of his era were contested in the game of 14.1 continuous, straight pool, but varied in format from contest to contest and were not annual events. Championships were challenge matches between two players often played over several days to relatively high numbers 1,500 points for example. He was one of the first three members inducted into the Billiard Congress of America's Hall of Fame, in 1966. He was ranked number three on the Billiards Digest 50 Greatest Players of the Century. Biography <inaudible> 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 Greenleaf married vaudeville actress Amelia Ruth Parker, a Eurasian known by the stage names, "'Princess Nai Tai Tai' and "'The Oriental Nightingale", with whom he toured, performing trick shot demonstrations when not competing. In a pool championship match, Greenleaf was a fierce competitor, winning his first world title in 1919, as well as others, off and on, through 1937. His only unbeatable enemy was considered the bottle, though even his worst bouts rarely seemed to interfere with his performance. In 1942, he came in third place, behind Willie Hopper and Welker Cochran in a World Championship three cushion billiards match. During this era, the press used euphemisms like, Playboy, for sports idols and other public figures who, like Greenleaf, suffered from severe alcoholism. In 1935, the media reported that Greenleaf fell off the wagon when he vanished just before a crucial tournament in New York and woke up in Oklahoma under arrest as a vagrant. In order for him to be released, he had to prove to the constable his identity by walking across the street to a pool hall located in front of the jailhouse in Oakmilgee by running 87 balls consecutively. Another distinction of this era in the 1930s is that pool games were traditionally played on billiards tables that were 5 feet by 10 feet, as opposed to today's professional standards which have tables that are 4.5 feet times 9 feet, and the often clay or ivory balls were bigger than today's synthetic plastic and resin pool balls. Greenleaf had a hobby that he took seriously which was raising turkeys and chickens at his farm on the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland, in which he made a profit. His last championship title was in 1937 when he defeated Irving Crane by a score of 125 to minus 1. He died suddenly at the age of 50 from acute internal hemorrhage in the waiting room of a hospital in Philadelphia. He had been ill for several days, but had refused to seek medical treatment by going to a hospital because of an upcoming match he was to have played in New York, scheduled several days after he passed. World Pocket Billiards Championship titles 1919 December vs Benny Allen 1920 November vs Arthur Woods 1921 October vs Arthur Woods 1921 December vs Arthur Woods 1922 February vs Thomas Houston 1922 May vs Walter Franklin 1922 October vs Benny Allen 1922 December vs Arthur Church 1923 January vs Thomas Houston 1924 April vs Benny Allen 1926 November vs Erwin Rudolph 1928 March vs Frank Tabaski 1928 May vs Andrew St. Jean 1929 
1929, December vs. Erwin Rudolph, 1931, December vs. George Kelly, 1932, December vs. Jimmy Carras, 1933, May vs. Andrew Ponzi, 1937, April vs. Andrew Ponzi, 1937, November vs. Irving Crane, 1937, December vs. Irving Crane.